I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the restoration and founder of the LDS Church, the church I served as a bishop for five years. I knew the church was true. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. My life has been built on certain truths, but wishing doesn't change the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. When I finally learned the truth about the real history and doctrines of Mormonism, I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have come to learn that many others have made a similar journey out of the bondage of religion and into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about. Courageous people who wanna share their story hoping that you, the viewer, will discover the same new life in Jesus. So if you're a Latter-day Saint who is struggling with questions or seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we invite you to join us tonight. We have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host Bishop Earl and I appreciate you spending some time with us. And today we have, as promised, the wife of Roger. I have Linda Kegg with us today and appreciate you coming all the way from Garland, Texas. You're welcome. This is a yeah. real delight and yeah. a blessing. Well, it's a blessing for us and he had a wonderful story and yes. I know you've been out of the church for a long time mm -hmm. and so, as you say, uh, things may be... Uh, things you don't remember everything but uh, right. you actually have an interesting perspective of, of things we'll get to that but where okay. were you born and raised I was born in San Diego California but grew up in La Mesa which is a suburb about 10 miles Cal east of San Diego yeah and your parents were they uh, religious so to uh, speak my mom was a believer my dad I think kind of did he had a lot of things where he didn't couldn't believe in the virgin birth it just things yeah. that didn't make sense to him but, but yet Christian, he thought Christian I mean they were I believe he mom, might be I mean, my mom was definitely yeah. a believer yeah yes and did you go to church with him and um I didn't go to church with them my mom didn't want to rock the boat with my dad didn't uh, want to so she but we had very dear neighbors that lived yeah. down behind us that they were Lutherans and they basically took me under their wings yeah. and I went to church with them and so I grew up a Lutheran. I was baptized as a Lutheran, and which was very special. And what age was that? Oh, it probably started when I was maybe seven, eight. When you were baptized? Or, no, I wasn't baptized till I had. We were. I had to go to catechism, and in oh. order to be in the catechism class, I had to be baptized. So, oh. and I was always ridiculed most of my life around them that I was going to go to hell because I had never been baptized. So I had to be <laughs> baptized to get through the catechism and be confirmed. Yeah. Do you have values in life? Did you have values yes. and your parents had values? Yes. I think one of the funny things mm -hmm. that I feel like I've learned as a Mormon, uh, when I was Mormon and now mm -hmm. I've learned as a Christian, is that Christians have values. Yes. They actually do things with their kids and they mm -hmm. have morals and they have standards and yes. so on. And for some reason, I know that sounds naive, but as a Mormon, you just don't interact that much with mm -hmm. with uh, with them and so you figure well they just go do anything they want and mm -hmm. they can just sin all the time and right so it was yes. kind of a revelation to find out that Christians actually have some uh, definitely some values and they want the yes. best for their children yes. and, and so on so yes so you ended up going to high school then in California high school and after I I guess graduated from um, before I high school I, I didn't really go to church much. I yeah. did a little bit, but as he got yeah. as I got older, I, things kind of just didn't go. And then, um, of course, we'd go on. My dad would go to. He was a marine, and we would go to Easter sunrise services at MCRD downtown San Diego. So oh, that's okay. the only time he would go to go to, church, to a service of yeah. some kind. So and that yeah. was always real nice. Let me ask you, just because I'm curious, sure. uh, a catechism, is that, are you learning about the Bible there, yeah. Jesus, God? Yes, and then all about the Lutheran doctrine okay. and all of their yeah. things you need to and somewhat believe of, in. Somewhat of a structure, I guess. Yeah, very and, structured and, yeah. and very religious, but, yeah. you know, I, I enjoyed that time of my life yeah. doing all that. Okay, and so I knew the Lord. Oh, yes. did you? I did. I really believe I, I knew him. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. 
And did you, uh, after high school, then what happens? Okay, I graduated from high school. My dad retired early, and they were, his doctor encouraged him to maybe leave the area, be healthier to leave. So, you leave San Diego? Yes. And my goodness. Part, yeah, it, was, it was in 72. So, uh, my mom was born and raised in North Texas. So, we looked around and we ended up in Texas. She oh. really never wanted to move back, but, yeah. but all her large family lived there. So, it, it, that was a blessing for her and for yeah. all of us. So we ended up there, and I went into LVN school for a year. And, and what's that? Licensed vocational nursing. Oh, okay. And um, and Roger's a nurse too. Right. And so, I got yeah. into that. That was a year course, and there was another nurse student mm -hmm. in the class that was Ruth, Roger's mom. And right at the very end oh, okay. of our class, she asked me if I wanted to meet her son, Roger. <laughs> And it was matchmaker. Huh? Right, it was perfect timing because I spent that whole year just to my studies. That's you know that was yeah. I was very serious with and that. You got through with that. I got so down so the to... timing was perfect. So yeah. I met him in July, and then yeah, that was seventy three, mm -hmm. and we got married three months later in yeah. October. Fell in love, huh? Yes, oh, yes, and. Uh, at, was, did, were you aware that he was Mormon? Yes, at I knew he was a Mormon, but he wasn't active. active. And then, did you know much about the Mormon? I knew some. We had my mom and dad and I went on many road trips, and back in the early '60s, we came through Salt Lake and went to the t to the Temple, Temple Square, Square and went and looked at everything. I thought, well, this is really beautiful, but I didn't yeah. understand why I couldn't go in the temple. Oh. But you know, I guess it was explained to me. I don't know. Yeah, it was a long time ago. It was sure. over 50 years ago. <laughs> So, um, so you had been exposed a little yes, bit. So right. it wasn't a total new word for no, you, but uh, but I didn't. Know. Did you ask him about any of it? Or? No. So I just we had one child, Billy, and then I was pregnant. I believe with our second one, Adam, and we felt we needed to be responsible as parents to bring no, them up, and we needed them. needed that also. Yeah. So that's all he knew. He was raised that, and that's what he believed. And you were in. okay with that, and or I, I was because I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. And Church of Jesus Christ, Latter Day Saints, it's it's got to be okay. Sounds like it. It ought sounds. To be and, right down the line. And I huh? was, and I, I've always had an issue of being naive and trusting people, and so it, yeah. I didn't question. Yeah. Mm. And so. You started going to church right, then? Right, started going to church. Took the kids, I guess. Took, and, uh, I had Billy, he was like two years old, and Adam was a newborn yeah. when we were going. Then they were starting, they were going to build a temple in Dallas. Right. So those that hadn't gone through temple class, you know, yeah. needed, they were, we were encouraged to do so. Well, of course we're going to. We're, yeah. we're going to do that, do what you're told, and we were going doing everything we were supposed to do. Take pre temple prep classes. You're right, so we did that. It's interesting, just as a side, uh, my wife and our little family were, were in Austin, Texas during mm -hmm. that temple construction. We were donating to the temple up there. We never did get there, but mm -hmm. we left, came back to Salt Lake, but uh, beautiful temple, and beautiful mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. So what were you learning in the temple prep class? Anything that, did you say, boy, that doesn't sound like what I learned in catechism. Um, I don't remember. Any, I mean, like I was really saying earlier, I don't remember everything. I yeah. mean, our lives were pretty. Did you read difficult. the Book of Mormon? Yes, I read. That? I think I read some of it. Yeah. Pearl of Great Price and Doctrine and Covenants, Covenants and, and stuff. But it, I don't know. I don't remember ever reading something that didn't yeah. that bothered me. Nothing hit me. Well, yeah. That's not right. It doesn't. Didn't, nothing that really struck you. Right. You get baptized. We got a baptized. Member, and so you're getting prepared right. to go through the temple. And then Roderick explaining me what all this means. Of course, we were learning that in the class, sure. what it all meant. I thought, wow, this is really wonderful to be sealed forever. And, you know. Yeah, it is a wonderful, it's an interesting it sounded concept. sounds right. sounds right, yeah. Yeah, and we had many friends. You know, we were very, my main focus while I was a member was just family. You know, I wanted our family to, yeah. to be okay, to be better, to be fixed, yeah. and have that closeness. We had quite a few friends, and it was really good. Now, did really you good. share with any of your family that you were had converted to Mormonism, and did, what did they Probably. say? Probably. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I Nobody. Was, I don't remember my parents. Nobody thought it was really I don't bad of you to do that? Um, not with my parents, but I do 
at the time have an uncle. He was a Baptist preacher, oh. a free will Baptist preacher, Owen. And he had a few and, thoughts? <laughs> oh my, he, he was a Mason. Oh. And we got together, I know, at least one time, and he was just really upset. You know, that's wrong, you can't do that. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I believe Roger mentioned something about my uncle Owen being a Mason. So we had that discussion. Oh no, that's not so back and forth. So that I, th I believe memory is pretty dicey. <laughs> that, so we had that issue with him. Yeah. That we were doing the wrong thing yeah. or this and that. But I don't remember my mom. She might have, but I don't remember. Yeah. So then Roger gets exposed to this, the God Makers. Well, is that yeah. the next thing right. that happens? Oh my, yes. And yes. We'll, he brings this book home. From work no, I one didn't night. know it was a book. I yes, guess. I knew it was a movie. Well, yeah, but, but I we'll didn't start know that with the book. book. He brings this book home and shows it. He said, "You need to read this." I look at the cover of this book, "The God Makers." I was furious, and that's putting it mildly. I was very upset. What at, type at of what? At this book that these friends of ours that they would be criticizing this, the church right, that how, or that the church had that concept well no that how at first how dare they okay. give roger this book yeah and now he's bringing it and to try me. to influence right. me out of the church and i was furious with both those guys I, yeah. I care deeply for them but how dare them do this try to influence and you. roger says read the book oh boy the, the name itself the god makers was like what i started reading this book and I said, Roger, did you know this? <laughs> and I'm being very mild when, as I say that right now. He it said, wasn't yeah. quite like that. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, what? Why didn't you tell me this? He said, well, I thought it was way, I thought that was true. But, well, he said, yeah, he said last time, he thought everybody knew that. Yeah, because that's all he knew, bless his yeah. heart. And he thought that's what the truth was. Well, the funny thing or interesting thing is that that's what the whole temple thing is about. So all this temple prep class mm -hmm. that you were doing really is to prepare you to go to the temple so mm -hmm. that you can get into the celestial kingdom so mm -hmm. you can become a god. Right, but if I, apparently we didn't get that <laughs> No, they don't, yet. They don't I mean, really talk about no. it in those terms. Yes. It's more you're going to the temple, that's one right. thing. And then, but I can't remember how far we got into the yeah. temple prep class yeah. when we... When the started. Lord Jesus pulled us out of that, he literally pulled us out. Anyway, I read this book, yeah. and then there was the movie. They said, oh. um, you need to come, it was one of their churches, you need to come to our church and see this movie called The God Makers. Wow. So we went and saw that, and that just, I was already, that just cinched it. That, and I said, is this true? Roger said, yeah, this is true. We, that's what they believe. And so, at that point, you, the both of you said, okay, that's... We got to get out. And I don't know how long it took from that point, a month or two, I don't remember. But it, wasn't, it didn't take long to get out of that. Now, you mentioned something to me uh, earlier that you also had another couple or some friends. Yes, that, yes. We were had, they active Mormons? Yes, we, um, we lived close to them, and they were living next to a couple that were active Mormons. Yeah young family, very sweet, nice family. And so they were friends with them. And they were in your ward or branch yeah. or something? Yeah, and yeah. then I, I can't remember exactly, I think our friends told us about the Mormon church. I mean, told us about, we got connected with them. I yeah. can't remember all the detail. And then we, we all got involved with it because they were searching for something. Yeah. As, and so, yes. And then when we got out, um, the Lord helped us convinced them, Share with them the Lord but it was the Lord doing it oh, and of they course. got it's out. always him but yes did you what did you share with them just the, the God, God makers, makers I mean that's that's what I would tell anybody that might be a Mormon or read this book yeah or or you know check out other avenues well and there are a lot of other yes. books now that yes. have come out that have yes. helped explain both mm -hmm. the book of Abraham and right. uh, Yes. Just all the different I mean, it's been things. a long time, so yeah. I, I know there's a lot more information out there. Yeah. So did you start going to another church immediately? Yeah, well, let me... Oh. So Sorry. once we, we wanted to be excommunicated, we wanted our oh. names off the record. Okay. Because we understood that's what you should do. Yeah. So I had to write this letter to be excommunicated, yeah. and I gave it to the bishop. Now, is this a, like a resignation letter? Yes, or? it's something okay. that 
Take we my, had take to my do, name off yes, the record. Okay. Take our names off the, the record. And I had to give write this letter to the bishop and gave it to him. And he told me, he said, um, you know, you need to divorce your husband. You are damning your family to hell if you leave this church. And it was very, that was a very tough time to be told that I'm, that I'm damning we, our family to hell. If you don't divorce your husband. Right. And if we leave this church, we're, we're going to. I've heard that that counsel's been given. But yes, I, and I sure he don't. did that. And then other members, people that we were thought we were friends with, same thing. You know, they just, you know, you're going to hell. You're, you're going to lose your celestial right. chances at celestial right. kingdom because right. you're. But I didn't believe it. Yeah. So we, Good for you. we got <laughs> off the records. But then right after that, we started having more problems. So, I'm, so for a while there, off and on, I thought to myself, well, well maybe. <laughs> did I, is this why we're having these problems? Sounds, sounds like Satan was right. He was, he was keeping you. Right, but I know up. it wasn't. Yeah. I know it wasn't. So. Were, uh, oh gosh, there's a couple of questions, but are you, um, as you go through this, did, did your friends stay out of the church? Did yes. they come with you with Yeah, other? they got out and we both, we all joined the uh, First Baptist Church of Garland, a big Baptist church. I yeah. understand a lot of Mormons, ex-Mormons, have gone there. Go into the Baptist church. Yeah. That's what, that's what I've heard. So we were... Well, when yes. you went back, kind of, and it had been a few years now that you had been at, in, in a regular Christian church, I mm -hmm. guess, did you notice differences between what was preached and what was sung and, and well, so yes. on? One thing I used to wonder in the Mormon church, where is the cross? Did you really? Right. There's not a cross in the church. Yeah. On the steeple, in the church, there Instead, wasn't a there's cross. there's a man on there's the a, temple. Right. <laughs> I had a real problem. What's with that? Where yeah. where is the cross at? It, what it's all about? And what do you do with that thought? Do you just kind of shelf it, or do you just say, "Well, that's the way it is, and that's what the Mormon Church does"? I and, guess. I wish I'd. I mean, you had it. a respect and love for the cross, maybe? Yes. Did you? Through, yeah, of course I did. Your I, youth and I get. I'm I'm puzzled even now why I didn't. Why it didn't strike why, you? Why it didn't strike me? Yeah. I mean, what's wrong? What's why didn't it strike me that way? Yeah. You know? Did you have a testimony of the church? Do you think? I believe I did. I, yeah. I think I stood up and said it. But yeah. this talking about burning of the bosom, bosom, yeah. and all yeah. this and that, and you know, you feel like you feel kind of like you need to say something. And at that time, I, I believed it was yeah. a good thing. Sometimes I know even missionaries when they go out that sometimes they don't have a strong testimony mm -hmm. and so they're relying on their mission president or mm -hmm. maybe in your case a husband. Maybe yeah. you were relying a little bit on I his was. testimony. I or, was. And then eventually the promise is that we'll yes. get our own and be able yes. to. Yes. Yeah. That's how it was. Yeah, I kind of think that's the way our kids are. Mm -hmm. They hear our testimonies and then they start out. We just know that eventually they'll have one of their own. And Right. Yeah. Right. So that's mm. interesting. Mm -hmm. A little different now. So, yes. um, so then what happens? So you go to this Baptist okay, church. We're in the Baptist and church and just it, the Lord moved us on. It, you know, this is a journey. It, yeah. It's a journey from the day you're born. Yeah. This journey that the Lord Jesus takes you on. And yeah. so now we're in the Baptist church and then we go on to, well, it's, it didn't he moved us to another non-denominational church, big church, yeah. up not far from our house. You know, three, four, five thousand people membership, wow. something like that. And that Trying was to get good. Lost in those, yeah, don't and you? the music was great. Yeah. Like, no, I love the pipe organ. Cause that our, our first church had pipe organ. I love pipe organs. Yeah. But this non-denominational, I don't believe it had a pipe organ. Yeah. But anyway, music was great. But it was just too big. Yeah. And we were just kind of a number. We stopped going. And we, no one ever called. Yeah, because you, yeah, sometimes they get too big. And now, yes. kind of more doctrinally, did you, did you have a sense of works and grace, oh. both in Mormonism and as, now yeah. as a Christian? Well, yeah, in the Mormon church, it was all about what you do, 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 work, work, work. You know, don't drink coffee, don't drink tea, don't drink Dr. Pepper. We'd go to a water park and I'd, we'd see people drinking those things and we'd go, oh, look. You know, look what they're Easy doing. Easy to judge others, yes, isn't it? Yes, and I yeah. feel so bad that I f felt that way. I did too. I judged. I thought, uh, I, not that I felt better. 
but yeah. I guess subconsciously I, I was doing I must have been doing I thought I was doing something better yeah but I wasn't flaunting it yeah but yeah I felt kind of like the Pharisee and the publican right yes the Pharisee is all proud because he's doing everything right. he's supposed to be doing right and, yes and the other one is humble and yeah you know, I felt the same way and that's mm -hmm. one of the great things I've given up as a mm -hmm. Christian is judging oh yes and and having that freedom to not mm -hmm. not worry about that and yes have that freedom in Christ yes yeah mm -hmm. so um, you go on and and you go to different churches mm -hmm. and eventually now you've right got, yeah we comfortable went on with your little right we went on to this other and, smaller non-denominational non yeah. he was a really 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 good teacher oh, good. but he wasn't turned out that he wasn't the shepherd yeah <laughs> that it, we thought it you wasn't were. very, it was very painful. But there's a freedom there to be able yes. to go and find where you yes. feel comfortable. And, and the Lord pulled us out of that. So yeah. It reminded me a lot about being pulled out of the Mormon church. It was very, I mean, that was very painful, very hurtful and painful. Yeah. Then this other situation was very painful. It took me back to the pain I felt yeah. leaving the Mormon church. And then he placed us with some dear brothers and sisters and... We know Christ. I mean, I've known Christ, but yeah. each journey, each you can phase, see where God's led you oh, along, and yeah, the path is just and you it's better and better. Now. Yes. Yeah. So I, all these heartaches we've had is for a purpose. Yeah. You know, and I I understand that. Well, I know it's been a while, but what would you recommend the LDS do as they have questions, or what should they do if they have a question about something? Like someone comes to me, like, why did you leave, or what? Well, no, just a doctrinal question or something. Do you think they should, uh, I mean, would you have them, you think there are books that, that they should read and, and uh, people they should talk to, or not be afraid yeah. to talk to people? Yes, I mean, yeah. they should be able to talk. And if you have a question to ask a Mormon, yeah. they should tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, just, but no, I'm it hasn't been that way, yeah. or it wasn't. I'm sure you're probably more into the Bible than you were. Oh, yes. And I've always saved. had a Bible since I was, you know, yeah, little kiddo. But um, I never, I always had an issue with the Book of Mormon. It just, it didn't feel right. Really? Yeah, there was something there that I, I, I treasured the Bible where I didn't, I had this Book of Mormon and I know it was the Lord saying something to me. <laughs> it had to be. Something's funny here. Yes. Did you ever go into any, what I guess would be called uh, anti-Mormon or, or informational areas where they were teaching or showing you problems with the Book of Mormon? Did you ever do well, any yeah, of that I, kind of study? I believe you did. This Ed Decker, the book, the Back to the Godmaker God book. That, oh, he covers that oh, yeah, too in there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know So that, that and then like so the movie, it gives all the facts. I mean... Oh, I didn't know. I should I believe. probably watch that. I have yeah. never... Yeah, I, mean, I haven't did. seen it in years, of I course. stayed away from it when it came out because yeah. I didn't want to be influenced, yeah. I guess. I, yeah, but once yeah. again, once when Roger said, my husband said, yeah, that's, they believe that. That's all it really needed. That's what I really needed to know. <laughs> that that did it. Yeah. Yeah, and again, that's the purpose mm -hmm. of the temple. So it, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of, and then you you mentioned or some something came up about masonry. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you realize masonry was so a part of the temple? No, not until Roger and that situation with my uncle and then right. Roger. He's really good about reading and investigating. Yeah. And, you know, and now of course you got YouTube. You know, but even back then he would read different he things and he'd share. Yeah. And now you got YouTube and get all this stuff off of and of course you have to be careful with that. Yeah. But the facts. Well, it was just so shocking to me, uh, the garments that the yes. LDS wear that have Masonic symbols yes. on them. And yes. It's just like, what? That's where yeah. all that came from? And, and Roger's father, when he died, he was buried in his temple garments. Yeah. And apparently you're not... To, to show those to everybody, they're they're no, private, well, right? Yeah. Well, they I mean, they were shown. Them, you could see them as he laid in the coffin. Really? He didn't. Or, oh, you or, mean you, you're talking about the temple, his, his temple clothing, right? With and the I, apron and right, everything. Right. I guess. I mean, it's his yeah. temple garments. The garments are the yeah. ones you wear against your skin, yes. but these other robes are the priesthood robes yeah, or, or something. Or whatever he was wearing, it shouldn't have been shown to the. Yeah. You know, from what I remember, if I remember that but correctly. But they're not supposed to be seen. But, <laughs> but right, it just those, it's so weird. Yeah. I mean, just the Mason and where all that came from. Yeah. 
So yes. Well, give us a Christian message then. Give us a, the joy it is to, to, to be in Christ and in, mm. in the body. Well, the path he's taken us on has just been beautiful. It's been hard, but it's been beautiful. It glorifies him that he has shown me the truth and yeah. why he, you know, he lives in us and we're in him. Yeah. And what's better than that? Did you understand that it was his righteousness that saves us? Yes. See, I didn't, I always thought it was what I had to do. Yeah, right, as and, a and so many people, just even Christians have. Sometimes they, think they have to what do. They got to do this, work, 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 you know, yeah. get them. It's, it was done, it was finished when Christ yeah. died. But it isn't a license to sin. No. It's no. an opportunity, an invitation to become more Christ-like. Yes. This grace. You know, this dear brother of ours that when we um, decided to do, um, have fellowship in our homes, and um, it's just beautiful. We had a dear brother, Milt Rodriguez came, and his wife, Mary, came down and one weekend and shared with us. And it's all through the Bible, but I've read it, but it never hit me that <laughs> Christ lives in me, and yeah. I'm in Him. Yeah. And like I said, I've read it, but it never, never hit you. But it hit me very, very hard that weekend that yeah. Christ is yeah, in me. Yeah. And once you That's know what that, the Bible says. I know, but yeah. it and didn't. And we're adopted it, into his family. Right. And so what's greater than yeah. him and me and I'm in him? Well, and he's God. And, you know, we talk about the Holy Spirit. And, yes. And that's God. Yes, it and is. Jesus, and our God, God in us. Right. He has shown me so many things. And yeah. it's, it's, there's nothing better than him. And there is a difference. You mentioned the burning in the bosom, but it's just a difference when you have uh, a, a kind of a confidence right. in what Jesus has done right. in the Bible and what it teaches. Yeah. And the peace. It? You yeah, know, you could peace. be having a bad day or just, I just call his name, Jesus, yeah. or Jesus help me. And that's, and he does that. Do you I, notice you talk a lot about oh, Jesus? Yes, all, a lot. And I'll, I'll thank him for things yeah. I've learned to thank him for all things. Yeah, the hardest things possible. I thank him. I used to, be, I used to go weeks without talking yeah. about Jesus, and right. now it's it's yeah. hours. Or, right. I, yeah. The closer I get, the more I talk to him. Yeah. The more I rely on him. Well, Linda, our time is gone, wow. as I say so often. Yes. At least yes. every time we meet with people. But yes. anyway, I've sure enjoyed you oh. sharing your story and. Uh, yeah, uh, the conversion that you had yes. to, to Mormonism, and I know you were probably trying to be faithful and following mm -hmm. God, and mm -hmm. and now you can rest in Him, and yes, you know, and the great confidence that is. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time mm -hmm. on the Ex Mormon Files. Mm -hmm.